Okay, let's become a fairy. So I'm taking the Morphe Lavendaze palette and I'm taking this kind of like muted purple colour right here and I'm going to pop that just on the inner section of my eye, kind of in like a circular type shape. This would be kind of going into like a nose contour. I was originally going to go all out and do like contouring with purple and pink, but I decided to keep it a little bit more low-key as can be. And kind of pictured this as something that you would wear like out and about for Halloween 2021, um, where you wanted to feel a little bit more glam rather than having like purple and pink contour, if that makes any sense. So now I'm taking the lighter purple just to blend out this darker purple that I had put down earlier. This is quite a muted, like purpley kind of colour, and I'm just blending that out with a fluffy brush. Then I'm taking this beautiful like pinky violet colour right here, and with a small fluffy blending brush, I'm just packing this right into the crease of the eye, and then winging it out in like a little wing tail kind of shape right out onto my temples and i'm just blending that in as much as i can it doesn't have to be neat at this point because i am going to be cutting the crease later on so i'm just going back and forth and blending that right out and putting it right up into the temple i had put my p louise base down beforehand which you can't see it's basically the same kind of shade as my skin but it is on the temple then i'm taking this lighter kind of pinky purple shade I'm just using that to blend out the more violet, like pinky purple shade. I'm just also going into the rest of the colours just to give a nice blend to the look. And then what I'm doing here is just going back through the same colours that I'd already previously applied. And I'm just going back straight over the top of them, the same as I did before, just to re-intensify them. Just because sometimes when you do blend shadows, it can kind of like lower the vibrancy of them so it's good to go back and forth and just reapply them once or twice i always do this especially more in like creative looks like this when you're packing on a bunch of different colors just to really bring them back to life after you've blended so as you can see here i'm just going back and forth loading that up and yes i did attempt to iron my backdrop before filming i did miss a spot but i'm just going to pretend that you can't see it <laughs> um and i just pointed it out oh well so now I'm taking a cotton bud and some micellar water and just kind of making the shape of the eye. I wanted it to go like up quite high on the inner corner of the eye, like past the tear duct. This just makes your eyes look super big. Definitely recommend if you're kind of new to creative makeup looks, trying this out, just bringing it past the tear duct. It just gives you so much more room to play with and then also just makes your eyes look really big as well, which is cool. Like look how much lid space I've got compared to before. It makes such a difference um, and then i took the dry side just to wipe off the micellar water and any like leftover shadow just wiping that all across that lid and i'm kind of like making the shape of it as well then i'm taking the p louise base in the shade vivid violet and i'm packing that all across the lid just so we put that shape down and being a bit careful towards the edges so it's nice and sharp get that cut crease up in here and the brush i'm using to do this is from Eek Show, it's just like a concealer brush. Any kind of like small concealer brush I find are really good for cutting the crease because they tend to be quite flat and that is really like the best way to get a sharp cut crease. So I'm just kind of putting that down, packing it on. And then I'm taking this beautiful purple shade. This one performed so nice. I would just say it's like a true purple shade. Like I wouldn't say it's like really pink or really blue or anything like that. Just a true shimmery purple. It's so stunning. And I'm just popping that all across the lid and just kind of putting that right into the inner corner as well. I was thinking of doing like a few different colours, but I just love the shade so much. So I ended up putting this all across the lid, right up to the top of the crease there. And obviously the same on the other eye, so it's somewhat symmetrical. And then later on, what I did is when I got to the outer corner, is I kind of created this like wing kind of shape just so it doesn't kind of blur out to nothing, like it looks more cohesive. So I'm packing that all across the lid. Just pulling that down, you can see how gorgeous it is. I really did take my time with this. So as you can see here, I'm just pulling it out towards the tail of the shape that we made. And you can see it just all makes this kind of like winged shape, just like a fairy would have wings. <laughs> Then I realised I wanted the crease to be more defined, so I did an old trick of taking some glitter eyeliner 
This one is from Urban Decay, it's in the shade Volume. I'm just lining the like cut crease line, literally just directly above it. It doesn't really have to be too neat to be honest because you can only really see this in certain angles where it picks up the light, but it's so pretty. I love putting glitter eyeliner through the crease. I used to do it quite often and then kind of stopped using it because I felt like I was overdoing, but I might try it in some more looks coming soon. And also if your cut crease isn't as sharp as you want it to be, it's a little bit of a trip just to make your eye look look more sassy, you know? Now I'm taking this ink felt tip liner from Morphe just to pop on a wing. And then I'm taking this pink liner from Wonder 2 Cosmetics. I was going to pop a purple in the waterline, but I feel like a pink would just tie in the look nicely. Just popping that pink right in the waterline, and yes, I do have purple lenses in. <laughs> I will link them down below. Then I'm just smudging out the same kind of violet shade that I had in the crease, because I love that colour. Popping that under the lower lash line, giving my lashes a nice curl, ready for those falsies. I feel like these eyelash curlers kind of match my look, actually. Now I'm popping on some mascara. This is the Revolution Pro Wide Eye Effect Mascara. Just loading up my lashes, ready for falsies. Falsies of choice are the Land of Lashes Aurora Faux Mink, as always. Lashes, they are super like big and dramatic, so I thought it would be perfect for this look. Primer, which I forgot to show to the camera, but it is the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Illuminating Primer, because I wanted a nice glow under the skin. Then I'm taking this foundation, which I realise is actually really orange, but when you blend it out, it's fine. It just takes a little bit of a blend. This is from AOA Studio. This is like their foundation drops. I just haven't used them in a while and fancied using them. And once my makeup was done, it actually looked so nice. Then I'm going to do some light cream contouring with the Revolution Pro Radiant Under Eye Concealer in the shade C12, which I believe is supposed to be a dupe of the NARS Radiant Concealer. It's so nice and I love the shade for cream contouring. It's really subtle but just adds like the perfect amount of kind of like dimension to the face. So now I'm just blending it out with this brush, just kind of patting that in and it worked really nicely with these foundation drops. Then for concealer, I'm taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C5 and I'm just popping that in my usual places plus over a few blemishes as the foundation isn't like... It isn't really a full coverage foundation, so I just went in with extra coverage where needed. And then I'm taking this powder from MUA. I must admit this powder does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it literally worked so well for this look, um, but that was unintentional. So if you are looking for a mattifying powder, I'd probably stay clear of this one. It just kind of adds a bit of a glow, but in a good way, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to bronze up the skin using the Physicians Formula Bronzer, and then now I'm applying blush. This is the... Pop of Fuchsia Blush Trio from Morphe. I'm popping that onto my cheeks. I'm going really heavy handed with this because I'm a fairy and I can imagine fairies have cute blush cheeks and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to pop that on my nose. And I loved it. I actually did go in later and pop on more blush on my nose because I just thought it looked so cute. And then I'm setting my face with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Then I'm taking this Morphe Highlighting Palette with like fun colours in it and mixing the purple and the pink shades and just popping that kind of like on my cheekbones my nose tip of the nose above the brow just going really heavy in with that and i think it's so nice you can't really tell in this video just because of how my camera is set up but if you go on my instagram and check out my picture i did pop this on my collarbones as well i will link the instagram post down below then i'm just popping some mascara on my lower lashes and then for lips this is morphe sweet tea lip liner i do believe just loading up my lips with the lip liner. And then for Lippy, this is Morphe's Virgin Lipstick. It's a really pretty, like, pinky kind of nude. Just popping that on. You could leave this look as is right now if you wanted to. And take inspiration in whatever way. Like, I think this would be a really cute, like, fairy-themed look. But just for the purpose of having fun. See, I popped more blush on my nose. I'm going to jazz it up a little bit. So I popped on some gloss. This is Morphe's Frosé Lip Gloss. It's got a really pretty, like, pinky kind of glitter to it. It's really nice. And then I'm now taking the Stargazer Glitter Glue and popping it in some sort of random places above the brows and, like, in the kind of head of the brows as well. I thought, you know what, I always pop glitter on the outside of my temples, which looks pretty, but I'm going to experiment and put it at the head of the brow. I don't know what happened to my voice there. So yeah, I just popped the glitter here. This is the Gypsy Shrine Pink Unicorn Glitter. And this is the finished look after this one step, which you can't see. 
This is the Emmy Way Shimmer Spray. I will link my Instagram post because you can see it there. And this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching. And you can use this for Halloween 2021. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.